Hey guys, Paul Nia, I'm a professionally strong.com. I want to help you become the best and strongest version of yourself. And this is week four of my jujitsu diary, kind of tracking my progress as I go all the way from total noob, total beginner uh, a few weeks ago to whatever I end up being, hopefully a black belt over time. But uh, right now, this is my fourth week, so I'm still a total noob. And wanted to discuss a few things and hopefully uh like i did in some of the previous videos kind of relate it to training to help to motivate you with your workouts uh maybe you're going through some of the same issues i'm going through with your workouts and hopefully this helps you all right so uh if you're watching my previous one thing that's been bothering me is my knee but at this point i think i found enough ways to work around it, it actually it has a lot of times that it's feeling good but I, there, there's still a certain amount of drills and things that I try to avoid because I don't want to re-injure it. So it's feeling good. It's on its way. I, I've kind of gotten to feel of which exercises and which drills I can do and which ones I need to really be careful of. So uh, that's going well. But the big issue that I did notice this week uh, was that I was losing weight and for me, that's not something I want to do. I know a lot of people would be happy that they're losing weight. Uh, I, I like I like being around 240-ish or so, and I noticed my weight got down to 230. Now, I wouldn't mind my body fat percent dropping, you know, so staying the same size and having a little less fat, but I don't like my total weight to be down because uh, for me, at least, I think that indicates losing muscle with the way I work out and stuff. So uh, not a good thing. And... For me, at least, my challenge has always been eating enough, which is why I've never been huge and jacked because uh, it, it's always been easier for me to lose weight because at least for me, if if I skip a meal or here or two or have less calories, I think that is uh, easier for me to do than to be full all the time and forcing myself to eat when I'm not hungry. So I've, I've always struggled with trying to gain weight, gain size, um, and losing weight has been easy. So um, not necessarily something I planned, but uh, for myself, what I've always went through after a hard rugby practice, after a hard football practice, or just after a hard workout, I don't really feel like eating. And that's not good. I know when I got home, I want to have my shake, I want to have a big meal. But when I get home from a hard jujitsu practice or a hard workout, I just kind of, I don't know, my body, my body's not hungry. Maybe that's from years of playing rugby and being on the field, being at tournaments and there being no food around. Um, even if I bring bars and stuff, I eat that stuff right away. I'm hungry and I just kind of go through playing games um, on an empty stomach. I know it's not good. You lose a lot of muscle, but uh, I, I'm wondering if that's something that my body has adapted to and you know when I, when I get in that kind of situation I just don't feel like eating I'm not sure if it's something that a lot of people go through after a hard workout and not being hungry or if that's something that's just me but it is something that I deal with and you know I've just not been wanting to eat and I have had in my mind I gotta eat I gotta eat so I've been drinking shakes and stuff that doesn't make me too full trying to get as more calories in but even with that I've just my my weight dropped a little it's kind of maintained around 230 and I didn't like that at first but I also thought about when I was playing rugby, probably at my best, I probably weighed about 200 or so. So, you know, if that if that is where I'm at my best athletically, it uh, wouldn't hurt uh, the jiu-jitsu process to be down at a lower weight because I think that's a little more natural for my body to be that lower weight. But um, I've also seen the pictures when I was playing rugby. A little skinnier, you know, back when I did modeling, I was a little more uh, ripped, had that six pack out, and I didn't like that skinny look that I had, which is why I was like, I gotta get bigger. But um, that, that's, again, that's more of a personal preference uh, of what I like visually. So uh, I'm, I'm, it, it, my point is, I'm not sure if it's the worst thing in the world, performance-wise, to be at a lower weight. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's a better thing because I can move more freely, um, less stress on my joints. But uh, there's a psychological thing that I need to either choose because I've been, I've been training to increase size, increase strength for so long. It's kind of uh, hard for me to make that shift. I'm not ready yet. I know for my jiu-jitsu to be better, I need to make that shift and start to get lighter, start to train for more stamina, start to train more athletically. And I have trained a little more athletically in my workouts. That's one thing that I started to add, doing more things from standing, doing more things that are unstable, doing more one arm or one leg things to, um, 
to stress my body in different ways to give it uh, more challenges. But um, starting to make that transition, not focused as much on strength, not focused as much on size, even though I am still doing the workouts for them. Um, I'm not able to get the foods that I want, so I'm, I'm doing more shakes and foods like that. And I and I hope uh, I, I get to a good point. I'm thinking at least right now, once I get down to 220, it might be a decent medium that I'm not too small, but I, I still can move better and feeling better and less stress on my joints might actually help some of the pain that I'm dealing with my knee. I think it definitely, if I get down to 200, it'll definitely help my knee, help my movement, help my athletic performance, but not necessarily help my strength and size. So I'm thinking that around 220 right now is where I will find the right balance and we'll see what happens going forward maybe my mindset will shift a little more maybe my goals will shift a little bit more but that's where i'm at right now um if i get down to 220 i'll i'll be fine but if i stay at 230 where i'm right now fine as well weight for me is right now is not as important but uh a lot a lot of different things going through my mind right now about where i'm at uh where I want from where I want to be as far as my goals, you know, so I'm, I'm kind of at a crossroads of where, which direction I want to take my training, uh, because there's, a, there's a few things that are important to me, but I'm not going to be able to get every single thing with my training. So, uh, I guess, I guess the point of this is, um, you know, when, when you do things that shift around your goals, you need to make a decision. And that's something I have to do is make a decision of what my main goal is and start training for that. Because if you have a small goal here, small goal here, small goal here, um, it's, it's going to be hard to reach all of these little goals because they require different training, different nutrition. And I'm, I'm kind of at a crossroads and I hope I figure out exactly what I want uh, to be doing as far as my goals and my training. Hope I figure it out by next week, but uh, that's my thing. I'm going to take some time and sit down and do that stuff. So I hope this helps you. I hope if you're someone that's at a crossroads that this uh, message will help you as well. And it's kind of a long way to get to that point. But uh, with these uh, jujitsu diary videos, I don't really have a plan. Just kind of thinking out loud. Um, and also doing this for myself so I could look back and see um, some of the silly thoughts that I'm thinking at this point in my jujitsu training. I'm sure if I look back at this video in a year or two from now, it's like, man, what, what was going through my head at that time? But um, that's the way I'm feeling right now. Right now I'm at a crossroads and I'm uh, very interested to see where my thought process will take um, where I want to be as far as training. I hope, like I said, this video helps you and I will see you next time. Keep working out. Again, I'm Paul Niyama. I want to help you become the best and strongest version of yourself. I will see you next time.